Hi, this is Sarah Mike Sewell with ThePigSite.com, and today we're here with Dr. Patrick Webb. He is the Director of Swine Health Programs with the National Pork Board. So, thanks for being with us today, Patrick. Thanks for having me. Very good. Now, today we're talking about diagnostics, and, mm -hmm. and one of the questions I would think that comes up with producers is, what do I do if, if I suspect I might be looking at some type of um, foreign animal disease? What's, what's the path? Absolutely. So obviously producers are the eyes and ears uh, right. for the industry. They see their pigs every day as well as herd veterinarians. And so uh, when a producer or a veterinarian would suspect that there is a, a foreign animal disease of swine, mm -hmm. uh, there's a process which that can be reported to the state animal health official or okay. the federal animal health official and they'll initiate an investigation. It's called a foreign animal disease investigation. These are a very prescribed investigation process where a trained veterinarian will come mm -hmm. out and work with the herd veterinarian and the producer to examine the animals and take samples okay. in order to determine whether or not uh, a foreign animal disease is present on the farm. It's a 100% confidential, 100% free uh, process that occurs and the mm -hmm. goal is to get the results back as quickly as possible and so in those situations there's a high level of confidence that the state and federal animal health authorities will have a diagnosis back very very quickly right. so it shouldn't disrupt too much the daily operations for that production site so producers should be comfortable that you know our industry is important enough especially with right. trade that if we do suspect something's funny bring in our friends with the state and federal animal health officials to do those investigations because we need to know if these diseases are here or not. Very good. So that first step is call your veterinarian? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, the, the herd veterinarian is, is that conduit to the yeah. state veterinarian. Um, but in situations where you don't have a herd veterinarian, you know, a producer can make that call too. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's an easy thing to do. It's always good to err on the side of caution. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're looking at, at almost 27, 28% exports, and, and if we got a foot and mouth disease or a classical swine fever, we would lose the ability to do trade. And so the quicker we find it, the quicker right. we can contain it, the quicker we can get back into normal business. So what, are, what tools are available to, um, to producers to help them be able to identify just on a very regular basis to know what they should be looking for? We have a really cool tool at the National Pork Board. It's on our uh, pork.org website. It's called okay. the FAD Push Cat, uh, excuse me, the FAD Push Kit. Okay. Uh, what this is, it's a, uh, a barn level education. It's got laminated posters of the big nice. diseases that we worry about. Uh -huh. How to, you know, it's got great pictures of, and how you would report those things. And then it also has some fact sheets on, you know, for preparedness. You know, what can you do to prepare yourself for these events? Um, what what should you do if you hear there is an outbreak? And right. so that uh, FAD push kit is free to producers. They can get it off of pork.org at our pork store. And uh, my goal is one in every barn, because these yeah. things not only help us with early disease detection, but uh, pork producers, if we can demonstrate that pork producers have these tools and are using right. these tools, we mm -hmm. can actually use that with our trading partners to provide assurances uh, that our producers are looking for these diseases. So it's a great tool, not just for the owner of the operation, but for all those farm workers that are passing by it every day. Absolutely, you know, it just keeps it fresh in their mind. They see something, they go, you know what, I saw that on the poster, maybe we, yeah. need, to, maybe we need to talk to the vet. Very good, awesome. All right, great, thank you so much for the information today, Patrick. You're welcome. Very good, this is Sarah Mikesell with thepigsite.com.